for the last couple of years, the top free charts on both iOS and Android have been dominated by what they call hyper casual games. Okay. So you remember casual games back in 2010, management, restaurant management, you know, sorts of games. Those were called casual games. Hyper casual are games that are very short gameplay, like Centipede. Like, you know, remember that game Centipede back in the yeah. day where there's a little like yeah. Centipede that comes down the screen and you're kind of just trying to break it into pieces. A lot of the hyper casual games remind me of Atari games, you know, back in the early 80s, like very short gameplay sessions, very, very simple. But these games have dominated the top three charts on both iOS and Android for the past couple of years and really has surprised a lot of uh, gaming experts, you know, because gaming experts always think better graphics, more sophistication, you know, they're thinking like very like polished sorts of games. Whereas these hyper casual games are very rough around the edges. They don't have great graphics. Like, you know, it's really about gameplay design. They show a lot of ads. And I think for a lot of, you know, gaming experts, they're very surprised that these games have users, yeah. right? And I, I think the industry, the, the current explanation in the industry is that a lot of people who did not otherwise play games are playing these hyper casual games. And are these so women games on the way to work? I mean, is it because of the commute, the kind of commute type thing? Or is it, you know, board school children? Or what, what is the driver between behind this? Yeah, there's been a lot of different theories. I mean, if it was just commute, then you would expect to see more hyper casual downloads and better uh, play in places that have public transportation or where people have like idle time during commute. And you would see lower numbers in areas where people were driving to work, for instance, because ideally you're not playing a game while you're driving to work, yeah, right? To um, <laughs> but, but so far the data doesn't seem to show anything like that. It seems to be that, you know, there's a lot of, you know, uh, women, uh, older people, younger people who are playing these games. And a lot of it seems to be traveling via word of mouth. Um,